Mike and Trinity of Holland Farms, many of you have questions about how to tell if an egg is fresh. Obviously, if you buy your eggs from any source, unless you're getting your eggs from your own backyard, you have no way of really knowing just by looking at the egg about the egg's actual freshness. So what we're going to do is give you an at-home simple test to see if your eggs are fresh or not. I'm going to start with is two regular eggs. This is a, hmm, probably shouldn't mention the name of the store, but it is from a major grocery store that is uh, named for food and a, an animal. Uh, it is their store brand uh, egg. It's large grade A egg. Supposedly farm fresh nonetheless. This is a farm fresh egg. Uh, about as farm fresh as it gets. Uh, just went out there and got it myself. From those young ladies you see standing right over there. Thanks for your help, girls. Okay. Now, the only other thing you'll need other than the egg you want to test for freshness is a clear Tupperware container. It doesn't have to be Tupperware name brand. And what we did is fill it up with water. We take the egg. I'll uh, first have a lesson on eggs. A little suspense building there. Uh, eggs, although the shell you think is hard and impenetrable, uh, it's actually breeze. It's like a skin for the young developing chick or rotten egg to be inside. And as that egg deteriorates inside, gases build up and egg goes away. Till eventually it winds up to be a stinky rotten egg. So we're going to drop our <clears throat> food line, <clears throat> major grocery. Can I put this when it's time, sweetie. Ah. Okay, so if you take a look at the major retailer farm fresh egg, you can see that the gas in the egg has risen to the top and is pulling that egg up. So that egg isn't exactly beyond the scope of what I would call reasonable but you can tell it has got a quite a bit of deterioration in it, and the gases in that egg are acting like a balloon to pull that egg up by the time that egg actually starts to float toward the top of the water uh, if you broke that egg it would have an odor now we're going to put in the Holland Farm egg and you'll see that that egg is lying on its side just as happy as it can be if that egg had gas inside of it, then the large end of the oval would be picked up just like a balloon. Much like you see this white egg is doing here. So there you go. To repeat the steps, you fill a Tupperware more than egg deep with water. Clear so you can see it. You put the egg you wish to take very carefully into the water. If the egg lies flat, it is fresh with no decomposition taking place during the egg, full nutritional value, and no rot or germs. Very little chance of uh, foodborne illness as well. The floating egg, uh, notice the egg is not laying down its side, so it has decompositional gases, which has turned the egg up. And as that egg gets further and further from fresh and closer to closer to a big, fat, stinky, rotten egg, <coughs> it will float even more. A completely rotten egg will float on the top of the water, not cresting the water, but just barely at the top as the gases act like a large air bladder pulling that egg up. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'd like to thank Trinity for helping us with our experiment. You want to say hi, Trin? No. No? Okay. Well, what kind of eggs do you want, Trin? Fresh or spoiled? Fresh. Fresh? Yes. Okie dokie. All right, everybody, we hope you enjoyed our presentation and learned how to test your eggs.